New Bishop Minogue head football coach Thomas Peregrin brings a lot of qualities to the table, including his intensity. He's an intense guy. He wears his emotions on his, on his sleeve. You know when he's happy, you know when he's sad, you know when he's excited. Watch hey. the ball! Watch the ball. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Galvis wide open. I know! The stick is wide open. He's definitely one of the most animated guys I've been around. Coach Peregrine's ascent to head coach does not surprise anyone who has played or coached with him. Uh, Thomas was very focused. He could concentrate, he watched films, he, uh, he paid attention, and, um, and he's very intelligent. You could, he was a coach on the field when he played. If you missed a pass or you ran the wrong route, he always take, took that moment to stop, explain what he saw, what you should have done was always building you up, he never put anybody down. You can see right from the very beginning, he understood the game, he understood how to communicate with people. So you could see it at a young age that this is what he wanted to do. Overall, Coach Peregrine's goal as a coach is to help make these football players better, both on and off the field. It's not always about winning or losing a game that defines success. It's about those little things that you do in the weight room, that you do out on the practice field, that you do in the classroom, that you do at home when you're with mom and dad. Those are the things that are going to help us be more, su more successful in the football field. You know, my goal is to build them into better men, and I believe that myself and my coaches were doing that. And win or lose, if, if we continue to do that, and we can, I can go to bed at night and sleep just fine.